Okay, I wanted to make a quick video to show everybody about these knives that I was talking about this morning. These are the CPC knives made by Lindsay. These are a wooden knife, very soft to the touch. This is the coarse knife, the one that I explained I like the best. Um, the reason I like it the most is because the teeth on this coarse knife are spaced a little bit further apart than some of the other brands of knives that I've used in the past. Um, this is Loki. He is a Border Terrier. He is a pet, so he does not get worked on regularly. Um, his coat is a little bit softer than what most Borders are. Even with a blown coat, when they get ready to come in, their coats usually are a little bit more wiry than his is. Um, so it's been a little bit of a challenge, actually, to pull him down. Even though it's blown, because it's soft, it is a little bit harder to pull out. And I'm not able to get as much of a bulk out of it than I would normally get. Um, but using these knives um, have really helped a lot, especially with a coat like his. And I just keep finding myself going back to them. And it's been about two months now, and I keep reaching for them. And I don't go back to my other knives that I was using before that are about 10 or 15 years old. Um, they come pretty much ready to go. Um, I have not had to make them dull or... Uh, you know, soften them up any at all. Um, these are not cutting coat. I have not had any problems with them taking chunks out of the coat. Um, I, it's easy for me to grab hair pretty much right between my thumb and the knife. Uh, because of the coarseness and the way that the teeth are designed, I'm able to actually grab more than I maybe would have in other knives. Um, this is really my my favorite. Good boy Loki. For the sake of my arm not being in the middle of the video, I am not holding his skin taut like I normally would. Um, I'm trying not to get my arm in the way. It's okay, Loki. Good boy. I did a lot of the work actually before I started the video and then I thought maybe I should take a quick video just so I could show you guys this knife. So a lot of this coat that's up here um, is that's kind of the soft little fuzzies that your coarse knife can't grab. Um, that's why I like using the fine or the super fine. There are two fine knives in here plus a detailer. Um, the super fine I like using on ears, uh, maybe the tops of the head on a dog that's got a soft head. Um, the fine knife is the one that I like to go back and get all these little fuzzy pieces of undercoat out. And it, it's, it comes out in pretty much one fell swoop with this knife. A lot of times I have to go back over and go back over and go back over depending on what brand of knife that I'm using. And this one, I do not have to do that. It comes out pretty 
easy. Really little effort. It gives it a nice, smooth, finished look. It doesn't grab the skin sometimes if you're, you know, pulling. You can catch the skin between the knife and your thumb. I have not had that issue with this knife. Just grabbing all those little fuzzies. Boy, Loki. Okay. And then I want to show you really quick um, the super fine knife and what I do with that one regarding the head and the ears. Um, this one is the super fine, and it really grabs all this extra. Um, it's okay, Loki. Good boy. All this extra super fine uh, hair that sometimes is hard to pull, and allows me to really get a hold of it to pull that. Let's go down for a second, hey, buddy. There we go. Good boy. All right. All this fuzzy stuff on the head. It's just got this soft, velvety hair in his ears. All this hair here on the inside. Good boy, Loki. Okay. It's okay, buddy. It's nice because it really grabs a hold of that hair, so instead of using your fingers, it doesn't have to, it doesn't slip through like it would be, you know, sometimes in between your fingers unless you've got some chalk or gloves on. And then the detailer knife. I like to use on the edge of the ears all this stuff that's on the edge it works really good by plucking that out just to edge the ear I like that it has like the rounded tip and it still has the grips on the round part so you can use that and use that to pull This is nice because you can get it really 
fine on the leather of the ear and that way you don't have to go back and thinning shear or scissor around the leather. You know, you want these ears to look as natural as possible. So I don't typically trim, thin, or scissor any of the leather of the ear on pretty much any of my hand stripped terriers. I just pull them with my fingers and get them out with the knives and use the detailer to go around the edge. And it makes it really easy and quick to get this stuff out. Good boy, Loki. I have never actually worked on this dog before, so he's being extremely well-mannered. He's staying at my house right now, and he's been a really good boy with my kids and my other dogs. I've had no issues with him whatsoever. The super fine I really do like a lot on the heads because it gives it a nice tight look without having to go over it with clippers. And then again, getting all these fuzzies out, it really helps. with these little hairs that are here that can be kind of hard to to pluck out I will use the fine on that area to get those out I hope this helps. Hopefully I explained all of that so people can get the gist of what I was talking about. Anyway, thank you.